Okay, in this video, we're going to install SAG client on Windows subsystem for Linux on a Windows 10 machine. First, we need to enable Windows subsystem for Linux. So press your Windows key, open your start menu, and type in PowerShell. And click run as administrator. Yes. And then paste in the first line to enable WSL. Control C, Control V, enter. Do you want to restart the computer? Yes. Okay, now it rebooted. Uh, let's continue from here, enable virtualization. So the same deal, open PowerShell as administrator and copy this. And you also need to reboot. Next up, we need to download a Ubuntu, open Microsoft Store, go to search, and type in Ubuntu. Download the first app. Microsoft will ask you about Microsoft account or something like that. but you can ignore them. Okay, Ubuntu is finally installed. Let's launch this. Let's say it's installing. Okay, it's installed and it's asking for a username so let's call it S and it's asking for a password. Okay, we are in Ubuntu. Next step, we need to install the SAG client itself. So we need to copy this, control C, and actually we can just right click to paste. Okay, so now we can shut down Ubuntu and launch it again. And we can use SAG client to test whether it's working or not. Okay, SAG client is working. It's con communicating with SAG server normally. Let's get some homework files here. But first, let's uh, go to our CS201 work folder, change directory CS201.work, and then let's uh, make a folder called homework, make the homework, okay. So now we have a, a directory called homework. And we can do, of course, we go into homework and uh, we can do um, install download of homework file here. OK. Untar this file. OK. So we can go to homework zero. And let's actually find this in File Explorer. So we have a name here. Uh, this folder's name is cs201-work. So let's go to File Explorer and search for 
cs201-work and see where this Ubuntu folder actually is. Okay, File Explorer found this. Um, let's right click it and say property. And let's go to this location. Let's copy this. Okay, and click here, paste it in. Okay, so this is the home folder. This is my user's home folder for this Ubuntu machine we have here. I would suggest that you create a shortcut for this CS201 work folder. Okay, now you can go to homework, homework zero. You can see all your homework zero folders. Hello world. And if we go to hello world, uh, let's, let's need to type everything in, okay. And let's do make init pool. And it says we need to install make, okay. So let's actually install make. Let's just type it to do at install make okay so now that we have make we should be able to do make in it pool um it failed because we need to set up this SAGRC file, which you will get an email about it. But anyways, this means this method work, and you can do everything about the SAG client in this Ubuntu machine, and you can do your homework. You can open this folder in VS Code and do your homework in your Windows machine and submit it using this Ubuntu virtual machine. Okay, that's how you run SAG client on WSL on Windows. Now let's actually install VS Code. Simply download it from its website. Open the file. Okay, I will recommend to you to do this, especially register code as an editor for supported file types and add to path. So you can open VS Code in a specific directory in the PowerShell. And it's finished. So VS Code looks like this when you fresh installed it. So we actually need to install an extension. Let's go to this extensions, Control Shift X, and do WSL. Okay. So we have this nice uh, WSL. Just click install. And it's installed. So now, if we do uh, Control Shift P, we do WSL, and new WSL window. Okay, now this window is a WSL window right here. So, what's the what's the difference? If you do control back quote, you get a terminal and it says it's starting VS Code in WSL Ubuntu downloading server, which means this extension is actually trying to connect to your Ubuntu machine. 
it blocks something it's allow access now we have a terminal in this Ubuntu machine actually we are in this Ubuntu machine so let's do list so you can see we have this CS201 work folder and if we CD to this folder and then we have homework and SAG client we go to homework and go to homework zero uh, to type in okay so we have this make file we can do make in it cool and it shows the same result as if we are doing it from the uh, Ubuntu terminal so please create SAGRC according to instructions blah 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 and now what we actually need to do is um, we need to set up our Java uh, environment so open folder so you can nicely choose the folder here homework it says OK trust the authors and you can see it nicely in this fashion um, to install Java you can either do a command line install which is sudo apt install default java runtime environment and default java development kit the password enter this will take a long time because our network connection is slow another faster alternative is you go to the internet and download a JDK file and then move it to the Linux folder just drag it here and then you go to the command line and untar the file and install it like that okay we have java installed so let's see java version okay with java openjdk 11 and uh, can we do this okay java c version also so let's just uh, install the extensions for Java okay we have a extension pack for Java you just install them if you don't like some of these you want to save space you can ignore maven for Java uh, actually I will recommend you get test render for Java and debugger IntelliCode is about autocomplete and maybe you want to disable that so we can have a new file here and if we paste in some uh, Java code okay we run this and block some features so let's just in allow access you can see that um, the output is here Java is running and it's not a project file, it's fine so the main way uh, we are going to use Java in this course is we are going to change our directory to this folder and we are actually going to do java c 
app.java okay and you can see there is a app that class here and then we do java app and then it will operate so this is the way you the basic way you use java from the command line if you want to learn more about how to run java from vs code using this run button uh, you can refer to their website otherwise I would say now you have the complete ability to do homework using a Windows machine by using WSL congratulations